cry for help tonight from residents in a Bronx building. They say they're living in fear because two men are roaming the halls, behaving badly, and they are hoping the police or their landlord will finally do something about it. CBS 2's Sonia Rincon has this exclusive report from Kingsbridge. Dozens of residents in this building on Broadway overlooking Van Cortland Park have signed a letter asking their landlord, local elected leaders, and the 50th precinct for help. We need um, some action taken to protect the people of the building. The problem, two young men who roam the hallways. Residents say one frequently flashes young girls and women. The other has been found sleeping in the stairwell in the laundry room. I happened to walk in one day and it was scared the daylights out of me because I wasn't expecting to see somebody taking up their residence on the washing machine. Neighbors who don't want to be identified say the men aren't squatters. The flasher lives in the building with his parents. The other has parents here who kicked him out of their home. Personally, I drag him out so many times. But... Super John McCooley says the guy finds his way back in. This woman told me in Spanish the hallway flasher exposed himself to her while she was with her kids. Sí, claro, yo me siento muy temerosa. Now she says she's terrified to even leave her apartment. Neighbor Bahir Mustafa says he knows the young men are troubled. But it should not burn. And all those, all those here in the building that have, you know, that want to live a good life and want to be comfortable walking in their house and not having to worry about getting attacked. Some of the residents here remember one of their neighbors who they say moved away out of concern for her safety. The same young man accused of flashing and following some of the residents followed her all the way to work in Manhattan. The landlord and building management would not return our calls, but they did respond to State Senator Jeff Klein, who told us he was assured swift action would be taken to address concerns raised by tenants. Residents here are hoping. In Kingsbridge, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News. Tried this, or rather, uh, we tried to speak to the families of each of the men, but neither would answer the door.